Hello everyone, and welcome to another video in our SPSS series. In this video, it's a short video, I'm going to show you how to select a random sample from your population using SPSS. And in this video, I'm using SPSS 29, but it's similar to any other SPSS or previous version of SPSS. So, as you can see here, I have the file that contains out in the population. I'm going to reset a sample from this population. To do that, we need to go to the data menu, scroll all the way down to select cases. Click on and to give you an option of choosing all cases based on certain conditions, random sample of cases, and so on. So we're going to go to random sample of cases. If you have more than one variable, select the variable that you want. Click on sample. And you will see here we have two choices. One, to select approximately percentage of all cases. So I can type here, let's say 10%. Get me 10% of the population. Or I can specify how many I want. Because in the first option of approximately 10%, it's going to give you not 10 values out of the 100, it might give you more. So if you want precise number 20, just say 20 out of 100. I'm going to show you both for now. Let's click on continue for the first one. Exactly 20 cases from the first of 100. Now, you have two options here as well actually three options we're going to show you two of them because i don't want to delete unselected cases you can filter out unselected cases so filter them out cross them out without deleting them or you can copy selected cases to a new data set let's try the first one let's filter out unselected cases and click ok so you can see here now that spss add a new variable called filtered the selected value will have a number of one beside it. The unselected will have a value of zero. And you can see here it's crossed out. So these are unselected. You can sort the data by the filter and it will show you the one selected. Or you can filter them by one. Now this might be not desirable because you can't see the value. You have to sort or filter them. So let's go back to select cases and choose the second option. Copy selected cases to a new data set. Okay. And let's call this sample. And of course, choose the rand. Make sure you choose the RAND, not the already filtered one, and click OK. And you will see that SPSS created a new data set called sample with the selected value, which is 20 out of the 100. So now let's go back here. Let's delete this. We don't want it. And let's try the second option, the percentage one. So we're going to go to select cases and repeat everything except here. We're going to say, okay, give me approximately 10% for all cases. And let's call it sample two. Click OK. And it's also, you will see that SPSS created a new variable, a sorry, new data set called sample2, and it selected nine values. So that's the thing about the percentage. You specify 10%, here it gave us 9 out of 100. Other time might give you 12, might give you 15, 17 out of 100, because it's approximately 10%. If you want to delete 
the unselected cases, you can do that, and then you will lose those values. So if I click on OK now, see 10%, it deleted the unselected cases, and it gave me this time 14 data set instead of 9, even though I specified 10%. So it's your choice which one you want to do. Specify percentage, approximately would give you that percentage, plus or minus, or you can specify the actual value. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe channel for more videos on SPSS and Excel.